Okay. So, good evening, everyone. I hope I'm audible and visible. Quick, quickly. Yeah, Subhendu, Shubhendu. Good evening and welcome. Quickly, let's join the session. Let people join the session and we would be starting it. Priyanka, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let's let's wait for a few seconds. Let others join and we would be starting. Kunmun, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Just a second. Okay, fine. Priyanka, Harjit, good evening. Subhindu, good evening. Priyanka, uh, Kunmun, good evening. Fine. Everyone, welcome to Conquer Learning and welcome to today's session. So, we are going to actually do theories of trade union. So, before we move ahead, I want others to join the session and this is an important, important class if you're preparing for UPSC ALC Assistant Labor Commissioner. Okay, let's let's wait for one minute and people would be joining and I will be starting the session. Okay, just a second. Dolly, good evening. Pralipta, good evening. Fine. Okay, I hope let's let's quickly fine. Okay, done. Let's start. Uh, whoever wants to join would be joining. So everyone, welcome to Conquer Learning and welcome to today's session, which is a theories of trade union. Really very important for those who are preparing for either NET exam, code 55, or they are preparing for assistant labor commissioner up upcoming exam. So theories of trade union. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Lakshmi Kushwaha and I'm verified educator on an academy where I teach subject code 55, that is your industrial relations and human resource management. I hold 4.5 years of professional experience and three years of teaching experience. You can always follow me on YouTube, on an academy or my this courses on YouTube for clearing your exam like assistant for ALC for code 55. Priyanka, good evening. Welcome, Harjit. How many applicants are applied for ALC in 2017 in general category? Harjit, for this, uh, please go through the previous class. In this class, I have a analysis of how many people have applied in which category. You can see the link in the first link. Priyanka, you haven't received the mail. Don't worry. You will get the mail. Okay? Mail will get the mail. Those who have not received it, will get the mail don't worry ठीक है जिनको नहीं मिला है उनको भी मिल जाएगा those who are interested for ठीक है fine so uh, as you know I have started and myself and Shivraj sir we are starting the course for specifically ALC ठीक है so Shivraj sir would be teaching you Indian Constitution current events and mental ability I hope you have gone through इसके पहले का class which was an introduction to general mental ability taken up by Shivraj sir so he has already given his introduction I have given my introduction we both together we would be completing your ALC course where I would be teaching you labor legislation and human resource management and he would be teaching you Indian Constitution and current events mental ability right let's start today's session theories of trade union 
before we move to this theories understand the theories of trade union very important to know is what do you mean by trade union as defined under trade union act 1947 trade union is what it is an association of the workers or employees coming together with the objective uh, to give the protection or for the economic benefit right so it is the association it may be temporary or permanent in nature that they are that is called as the trade union usko bolte hain hum trade union jahan associate hote hain the employees come together theek hai the employees come together and they associate together to have the power to bargain with the employer right now there is the theories there are different theories of trade union now what does this theory says ye theories this theories are based upon what uh, assumption that how are the trade union formed formed how what are the basis on base basis on which the trade unions are formed so there are number of the theories given by different authors and trust me this is really these all theories are very important from exam point of view because there has been already the pyqs or previous year questions asked in exam i will explain you few theories today few theories we would continue in our next classes i would request each one of you whenever you have the question you can ask by putting in the comment section ठीक है सो वी अंडरस्टूड थियोरीज मतलब क्या वॉट आर दी थियोरीज ऑन बेसिस ऑफ वॉट वी प्लान वी डू समथिंग ऑन थियोरीज ऑन बेसिस ऑफ विच वी वी कंसेप्चुअलाइज समथिंग राइट सो देर आर ऑलमोस्ट टेन थियोरीज गिवन बाय डिफरेंट ऑथर्स वेब थियोरी ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डेमोक्रेसी द कार्ल मार्क्स थियोरी विच इज कॉल्ड एज द मार्क्सियन थियोरी द पोलमेंस जॉब कॉन्शियस थियोरी हॉक्जीज सोशो साइकोलॉजिकल थियोरी टैंटनम्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल थियोरी Mahatma Gandhi Sarvodaya approach commons environment theory GDH clo theory Mitchell's economic protection theory and Simmons theory of monopolistic I would give you one idea most of the time the questions are definitely either it is in UGC exam net exam for code 55 or ALC or any other PSU or any other exam which is having labor law as a subject the question from theory webs theory marks theory polmans hogsies tantnam mahatma gandhi and your gdh clue these theories you cannot afford to skip they are being asked yahan se one or other question is there for 100% sure so you need to understand this theories very well you need to understand what is the difference between each theory let's first begin with the webs theory of industrial democracy before we move to the theory let's understand what do you mean by industrial democracy and moreover let's understand what is the democracy india is called as a democratic country means what here there is the rule of people public rule means what along with the government even people have got right to speak that is democracy industrial democracy says that in an industry when the employees also has right to say when the employees are also equal participant for everything that is your industrial democracy so web web sydney british web is associated with the terminology called industrial democracy so you may have the question in the exam that who is associated which author is associated with the industrial democracy or who gave the terminology called industrial democracy relation to trade union so it was web sydney and british web they are the people who gave sydney and british you need to remember the author as well match the following the questions are asked number of the time which author gave which theory alternative names for this theories are also important the web theory the web theory one industrial theory industrial democracy second non revolutionary theory third this are the three alternative name used for the single theory industrial democracy i made you understand what is non revolutionary when we say revolutionary revolutionary means one who go against the system one who fight to any extent to get their rights they are revolutionary in nature right what are non revolutionary people those who like to work in this in this system they won't go against the system so this theory is non revolutionary so web said it's not important to go against the system you can work for the employees within the system okay yes this is a non revolutionary approach kunmun i was making you understand 
what do you mean by revolutionary and non revolutionary theory so what is revolutionary where people go against the system that is revolutionary what is non revolutionary within the system work within the system so this is non revolutionary the web has given a non revolutionary theory now the books which are really associated or the books given by them is they are also known as bible of trade unionism so this is the one point where the question can be formed that which book or the books given by whom are called as the bible of trade unionism so it is the history of trade unionism 19, 1894 and industrial democracy 1897 now the question arises do i need to remember the years no you don't have to remember the years in exam the years for the books won't be asked but yes you need to remember the authors of the book these are very common question asked in exam according to web what is the trade union how the trade union formed according to web or sydney and british web how are this trade union formed why are this trade union formed to explain that they have given an industrial democracy or a theory called as non revolutionary theory unka manna hai according to them the trade union is nothing but an association of the wage earner this definition is very very important again the pyq has been asked in exam that who has defined the trade union as an association of wage earner so it is defined by the web so according to web the trade union is the association of the wage earner to deliberate the regulation of the working condition regulate karna means to have restriction to impose restrictions to make the particular employer or particular institution or particular establishment to work in particular form so that is regulating so the association of the wage earners coming together who put a deliberate a deliberate efforts for regulating the working condition i will give you the example if you have the understanding usually in the organizations or the factories where the trade unions are existing their working conditions are always influenced by their requirement since the trade unions have got great influence on the working on the productivity the employers are forced to accept what they require so the deliberate they put and deliberate efforts for regulating the working conditions according to web trade union is class struggle now what is class struggle here there are two important classes capitalism and your uh, uh, your capitalist sorry the capitalist and your labor two classes capitalist and labor who are the capitalist employer who are the labor the employees so according to web the trade union is what it is the result of class struggle class yani mean, two classes are there capitalist and labor and trade union is formed as a result of this class struggle why the struggle is there a trade union wants to hold the power capitalist employer wants to hold the power so as a result of this class struggle the formation of trade union takes place according to web according to him the trade union is formed or trade trade union is born on the day itself when the capitalism came into the existence as soon as the capitalist or the employers came into the existence the term called labor or the trade union also came into the existence reason again the class struggle employer want to exploit the employees and employees want to gain maximum wages so it was the same period so trade union gets born simultaneously with capitalism because capitalism require kind of labor who are free in double sense free from owing the means of the production and free to sell their labor as they want this is just an um, understanding capitalism require why there is an class struggle why there is an class struggle this is the answer because the capitalist employer always want to hire the people who are free from matlab jinke paas the people who neither have the control on production on and they themselves are ready to sell their labor so the capitalist always want to dominate the labor as a result there is always a class struggle between them as a result the trade union is formed 
so the trade but but according to web the trade union work under the capitalism they work under the capitalist this employer they don't go against them trade unionism can occur both under capitalism when there is a private ownership of means of production and under socialism when there is social ownership of the means of production web has usually given the different uh, you can say those methods jo non revolutionary hain like mutual cooperation collective bargaining these are the or forming the legislations these are the different ways how this class struggle can be removed so according to him trade unionism can occur under capitalism means what capitalism means where the power is with the employer and also the trade union can occur under whom under the socialism socialism means what when the power is distributed to employees as well theek hai so the both the conditions are possible both the condition web ke hisab se both the conditions is possible and hence he has supported mutual insurance collective bargaining and legislation legal actions yes he has given the legal action now formation according to web why the trade unions are formed what is the objective of formation of this trade union is mere increase the wage or reduction of the hours to increase the wages and reduction the number of the hours they are working it compromises nothing less than the idea for reconstruction of society by eliminating from it the capitalist profit maker who lives merely by owing owning so this is what the idea of webs theory webs theory says that it is not removal it is just reconstruction of your society society in the sense industry just reconstructing rather than considering considering capitalist yani owner or the employer as in profit maker it should be given to employee as well they should also be considered as in part so the labor organization utilizes the method of mutual insurance collective bargaining and legal enactment so these are the way through which the employees can also be made participative or the trade union can act in a uh, you can say as in socialism okay in a social action what are the methods given by him mutual insurance collective bargaining legal enactment now let me summarize the thing which web has given web said trade union is formed as a result of class struggle between two classes capitalist and labor according to him it's not removing or throwing away the capitalist it's not removing throwing away the capitalist means not it's not dominating the employer but reconstructing the society or reconstructing the industry in such a way that the employees all or are also having the way or also having the participation and how this can be done by mutual negotiation insurance by collective bargaining and by legal enactment these are the important points which i have summarized you need to remember the books what process he is following non revolutionary means what mutual insurance collective bargaining and legal enactment what he said trade union is class struggle between capitalist and social uh, between capitalist and your labor till here understood if yes mark in the comment section nahi samajh mein aaya ask me again i would explain you i will move to this point once i get reward from your side yes quickly mark yes if you have understood we'll move ahead <coughs> hmm done now the primary duty of the trade union here is is a demo in a democratic state to maintain progressively raise the national income for entire wage earn earning class the national minimum wage represents the living wage so this is like this point is saying what is the purpose of trade union so when it is a democratic when industry is democratic right 
in that in democratic industry what is the work or the duty of the trade union the duty of the trade union is to make sure that it is helping to increase the nation's income progressively first point uniform minimum standards of the common rules should be established in each firm and there should be minimum rules that should be in every in every uh, you can say every organization available criticism what was the criticism for this uh, particular theory no attention to emergence no attention to emergence of labor organization does not specify the condition of providing stimulus to the development of trade union and determine the pattern abhi kis pe criticize ki gayi thi that it did not explained why this labor organization was formed reason kya tha he said that there was the formation of trade union why because of the capital uh, the, because of the uh, struggle but he was not able to uh, give the reason what were the reasons why it stimulated kya unko stimulate kiya tha what they what have been stimulate what stimulated them for the development of the trade union so this was the criticism under webbs theory theek hai now let's have a question which may be asked or uh, a kind of an question which are asked in the exam according to sydney and british web which of the following method is are employed by trade unions to achieve their objectives so which are the methods according to sydney and try to answer this question according to sydney and british web which of the following method is are employed by trade unions to achieve their objective mutual insurance protective labor legislation collective bargaining so web has given which of the following method quickly mark in the comment section kaun se hai isme se kaun se option just now we studied so according to sydney and british web which of the following method is are employed by the trade unions to achieve their objectives no one is answering quick tarun has answered 3 divya jyoti has answered 3 kunmun has answered 3 correct so the answer is a b and c option number 3 is your correct answer both all the three are given by web theek okay? hai next question who is are the author of the books titled a history of the trade unionism 1897 and industrial democracy 1902 the two early writings of industrial relation sydney and british web alox fox allen fox and uh, allen flanders karl marx h a clegg so second question who is the author for this history of trade unionism and industrial democracy yes divya jyoti has answered 3 correct yes the answer for this is sorry option number 1 sorry sorry it's 1 not 3 three. three is for here it's 1 theek hai web ne diya hai no it's it's 1 here for it's 1 here mutual insurance collective bargaining that was for the first yes correct right so these are the correct answers a b and c here and here britness so these are the type of the question essay questions these are the type of the questions which can be asked in your exam and you can see these are direct questions not that difficult and i if there were when i was taking the first session people or learners were asking me what is the difficulty level so this is an easy मोर ओवर थोड़ा बहुत इससे कंसेप्चुअल पूछेंगे देर कैन बी मोर लिटिल बिट कंसेप्चुअल दैन दिस बट दिस क्वेश्चन आर इजी दिस आर द क्वेश्चन और दिस आर द टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच यू मे हैव इन द एग्जाम नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट थ्योरी द मार्क्स थ्योरी और मार्क्सियन थ्योरी काल मार्क्स थ्योरी येस डिम्पल आई वुड बी गिविंग यू द नोट्स ठीक है यू वुड गेट द नोट्स फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वॉट एवर पी डी वॉट एवर नोट्स आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग यू वुड गेट इट ठीक है Sydney and British Web. Yes. Now, next comes your Marx theory. Web has given your non-revolutionary, shanti priya, right? Peace. He was into the system that we don't have to go against the system. Marx again. He was also. He this theory is given by Karl Marx and Hegel. Now Marx was also believer that there is a class struggle. between two classes there are two classes and according to him the trade unionism is result the result of this conflict according to karl marx 
when there are two classes he defined two classes as capitalist he called him at brogiosi and the laborers he called them as proletariat okay proletariat he called them as proletariat according to them according to karl marx and hegel's trade unionism is natural it is inherent because conflict is inherent between these two groups you cannot remove when two people are working together you cannot remove them theek hai aap unko remove nahi kar sakte uh will explain that assist kumar pradhan guji uh, i will explain that fine so when there is an conflict you cannot remove it it's an inherent and because of this conflict because of this conflict the trade unions are formed why trade unions are formed because the conflict which makes the capitalist yani employer to hold the power like both of them both of the classes want to make their position stronger capitalist want to dominate their labor and laborers want to make their position stronger as a result as a result the laborers associate together and they form the trade union and in order to achieve their objectives in order to achieve the this objective the trade unions can go for revolutionary methods ladenge jhagdenge sab kuch karenge they use revolutionary method like strike band and gherao and so on so they are not in the favor of supporting the capitalists rather using the revolutionary method so this this theory is opposite to that of the web theory web says it is non revolutionary trade unions are formed but they are non revolution in nature here they said trade unions are formed because conflict is inherent so books given by karl marx poverty of philosophy the communist manifesto this is important the inaugural address of first international working men's association 1864 and his correspondence with friedrich engels and other so you need to remember the books the communist manifesto this is the pyq already being asked in exam this is also known by different name the alternative names for the marxian theory are the marxian theory the revolutionary karl marx revolutionary theory the anti capitalist approach and your radical approach now why this is called as the anti capitalist because marx has talked about going against the capitalist and hence it is anti capitalist according to him emergence and the growth of trade unionism as a result of inherent conflict between the capitalist and your laborers jo conflict hai wo inherent hai you cannot avoid it marx hold that in its confrontation with the proletariat and bourgeoisie mobilizes not only economic might but political might as well so yahan pe according to karl marx it's not only the monetary or economic reason because of which the trade unions are formed it is also the political reason it is also the division of political power so he has defined the trade union formation on the economic as well as the political might he according to him trade unionism is the instrument to overthrow the capitalist revolutionary na unko hatao unki satta hatao we as in trade union would have the control whereas whereas web said no it's not about overthrowing the capitalist it's about reconstruction wo web ne kaha tha marx said it's anti capitalist it's overthrowing the capitalist they uses marxian theory you strike band gherao and violence they are revolutionary and involves the fundamental changes in order to counteract the dominance of bourgeoisie so means in order to counteract uh, uh, employers or capitalist the laborers has also to launch a political struggle against the state thus the political action or the trade unions is indispensable not separable political action is there this is not only about economic need but also the political need as well political struggle as well criticism the criticism which marx has faced is it's not always it's not always necessary that the relationship between the labor and the capital will be conflict it's not every time important they may be cooperative so this was the biggest uh, you can say criticism that it's not every time important and 
it's not every time important that different categories of the employees have the uh, you can say they go together there can be different classes of people so it's not every time important that different categories of worker will have uh, different skills so they would not necessarily go against the employee so different categories of workers with varying skills and levels of the employment occur fine so basic thing between the webs between the karl marx web non revolutionary karl marx revolutionary web said it's reconstruction of society karl marx said it's overthrowing the capitalist web used mutual insurance collective bargaining and legal action marx used strike bond and ghirao violence web said trade union is result of the class struggle karl marx said trade union trade unionism is result of the inherent conflict between the, both the classes i hope the difference is clear between the two theories next important theory given is polman's job conscious theory very very important theory given and this is also called as the scarcity consciousness of manual workers we studied just now web theory we just now studied karl marx theory we studied web theory both of them have said that the trade union is the result of what the class struggle but paul men has replaced this class struggle unhone kaha trade union is not not formed because of this class struggle trade unions are formed when there is scarcity of the job as soon as the employees or the labor start understanding that there is the scarcity of the job they become conscious and they associate together to form the trade union so he rejected the idea of the class struggle given by karl marx and web and replaced it with the idea of what scarcity of the conscious class consciousness replaced by what job consciousness so this theory is also called given by polman also called as sct scarcity consciousness theory this is based on what how did he realize this he studied he examined the labor movement in us great britain germany and russia he rejected the idea of class consciousness and substituted by the job consciousness according to him the the trade unions are not formed because just because there is an differences between the uh, employer and the employee the trade unions are formed because of pessimistic pessimistic means negative outlook because of the pessimistic outlook of the manualist the workers the one people who work in the um, uh, factories their negative outlook what is the negative outlook they believe that the jobs are becoming uh, jobs are uh, scarcity there is an scarcity of the job that jobs are decreasing this negative of uh, this negative outlook of this manualist workers make them to work together come together so this outlook emerges when the worker becomes conscious of the scarcity of job opportunities in order to protect his limited job opportunity he start uniting with the fellow manualist so this was his basis why trade union was formed according to polman genuine trade unionist genuine trade unionist means what one who are genuine trade unionist one who are real trade unionist genuine people they are bread and butter this line is very very important they are the bread and butter trade unionist and genuine trade unionist are inherently bread and butter trade unionist they said one unionist unionist means a member of the trade union one who is genuine in nature can act as a bread butter of that particular trade union criticism the most and the biggest criticism for the pearl men was that pearl men's proposition that trade union emerge mainly by job consciousness is not tenable in all situation it's not applicable everywhere what if the employee and employer are having the conflict on uh, these conditions which are not related to work so it's not the job consciousness every time polman underestimated the influence of outsider particularly intellectuals on trade union movement so outsiders like your political power outsider like your government outsiders like the third party so he has neglected that it is also misleading to say that genuine trade unionists are bread and butter trade unionist and genuine trade unions are inherently so this was mid misleading statement 
उन्होंने जो कहा कि जो जेन्यून ट्रेड यूनियनिस्ट होते हैं दे आर दी ब्रेड बटर नहीं ऐसे नहीं होता इट्स नॉट दे आर नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एवरीथिंग दे आर नॉट दी वन हु रन द ट्रेड यूनियन सो दिस वॉज द क्रिटिसिजम सो वी डेड दी स्कैरसिटी पोलमैन इफ आई हैव टू समराइज कॉल्ड एज दी स्कैरसिटी कॉन्शियस पोलमैन जॉब कॉन्शियस he replaced the class consciousness with the job consciousness trade union is the result of what the negative outlook or pessimistic of outlook of the manualist or the workers when they realize that there is a scarcity of the job they come together and they form the trade union next fourth very important from exam point of view is tantnum's technical technological theory 1921 also called as man versus machine given by frank tantna so what theory is this the book given by him the philosophy the philosophy of labor tantna said the labor movement or the trade union the formation of the trade union is the result and machine is the cause according to him the moment the machine started coming up into the industries as soon as the machine started came into the industries the trade union were born why because machine started replacing labors so as they started replacing labor the labors become more of conscious more conscious so according to him the labor movement or the trade union are the result and machine is the cause so because of mechanization because of the machines the trade union were formed because of the machines when the employees or the labors became insecure about their security about the justice about their freedom they came together and formed the trade union so it is the machines the mode of the production which is the reason for the birth of the trade union according to the tantnum right according to him one important thing is trade union is unconscious rebellion matlab they don't go consciously and form the unions or association they are doing unconscious rebellion against this automization or mechanization they realize somewhere that their 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 jobs are no more secure because machines are replacing them as a result their unconscious rebellion they come together and they start uh, you can say they start forming the trade union so that is the tantnum's technological theory so machine labor movement is the result and machine is the major cause machines mode of production is the reason for the birth of trade union mechanization led to the breaking of the society this is what i explained you they become conscious that they may lose that gave the security justice and freedom and faith they break the society machines are breaking the society which is giving them security job faith freedom resulted in social optimizations workers look after themselves as an individual they started thinking about themselves mera kya hoga what would happen to me if the jobs are not there if machines exist the sense of identity became inevitable and led to the establishment of self conscious group so they came together they started making a group the people with the same craft people with the same job people with the same industry came together and started forming the trade unions the trade union movement is an unconscious rebellion against optimization of industrial society trade unionism is conservative and counter revolutionary what is counter revolutionary they are not the one revolutionary means revolutionary means one who go against the system so they are counter revolutionary they are against revolutionary they want to be uh, accepted in the society they don't want their jobs to get lost he also says that main aim of the trade unionism is participation in all affairs of the management so counter revolutionary means they are not going against the system but they are just saving their jobs they are just becoming conscious about themselves so here trade unionism also means participation in affairs criticism what tantnum was criticized that it is very hard to believe that trade union emerged with a view to revert back to प्री मशीन एरिया ऐसा हो सकता है क्या कैन दिस हैपन दैट ट्रेड यूनियन वेयर जस्ट फॉर्म टू गो मेक द मशीन टू गो बैक नो इट्स हार्ड टू बिलीव ट्रेड यूनियन वेयर नॉट जस्ट टू टेक दैट मशीन बैक बिकॉज समवेयर दिस ऑटोमाइजेशन मैकेनाइजेशन गेव और इंक्रीज द इकोनॉमी और द यू कैन से द वेजेस ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज एज वेल सो इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू बिलीव दैट ओनली टू रिमूव दो मशीन द ट्रेड यूनियन वेयर फॉर्म so these were the four important 
okay these were the important uh, theories of the trade union i hope you have understood samajh mein aaya if yes do let me know in the comment section fine so i hope this was understandable please do mark in comment section if you have understood this quickly fine tarun thank you now the next question related to this is who emphasized the trade union movement had emerged as a labor's reaction to the dominance of the machine in the modern society theek okay? hai so who has emphasized that labor re reaction was the dominance due to machines in the modern society g d h close link polman karl marx frank tank hmm. yes so the answer is kunmun has answered as d so it is the machine era so men versus machine men versus machine so it is tantnam right so frank tantnam is the answer for this fine so these were the topics these were the four important uh, theories uh, of the trade union rest we would be doing in further class so before we end vikram thank you for answer it is correct before we end uh as you know we are starting the alc course the initial price that for the course is 10000 but we are offering the price of rupees 799 this is only for the first 20 entries first 20 candidates who apply for the course for them we have 20% off that is 799 would be the price for first 20 okay so you can whoever is interested can mail me on this can join the telegram group can raise their queries now what you are going to get here by uh, the course complete video lectures we would have give you the pyqs with the solutions there would be doubt clearing sessions there would be feedback and we feedback and support there would be mock test and module 5 mock test updated information would be given to you like latest current affairs and so on you have any queries related to them you can ask on the conquer learning prices offers and the prices theek hai uh, is like complete course that is 10000 labor law if someone is going for only labor law current affairs that is indian constitution this is the amount the offer for first 20 candidates for the first 20 candidates is 7999 timing of the class would be morning or evening either sometimes morning sometime evening you would be having pre schedule i would be always sharing the schedule for the classes when the classes would have for every session just like according to that there would be a proper fixed timing and fixed classes and yes recorded would be always available to you pdf would be given to you for the notes right mock test practice mcqs every would be everything would be given to you first 20% for the first 20 entries right so if you want to enroll you can just message here join the group and fill the form i would be sending so how we are going to decide it so i would just show you uh, i i would just mail you the things okay uh, so this is like this is like first entry we have got the entry as soon as this get completed 20 only if till 20 people we would have 20% discount others uh, will have to pay it at the amount which is 10000 otherwise for 20 we have 20% and i'm just sending the mail to each one of you where you can reply if you are interested so i'm sending it to everyone so i hope each one of you who have previously filled up the form google form must have received the mail okay yes will only be pdf you will be yes first yes uh whatever now the question is is pdf sufficient 
whatever sub pdf i would be providing whatever pdf would be given by shivra sir will they will be sufficient so i would answer yes more than enough we have analyzed the things very very deeply and then we are preparing the courses okay this first 20 students or the people not 20 actually for the people those who are going to take complete course will get five mock test and pyq with proper explanation free free of cost so this is but only for the those who are taking complete course this is those who look for only for the labor law or the indian constitution different fine so this is what the details i want to wanted to share anyone who is interested can contact us i have already sent the mail so thank you so much and now if you have any query you can ask me any queries if you have any queries you can ask me okay so if there is the question will pyq would be pyq would be covered yes will hrm and labor law complete syllabus would be covered yes current affairs updated one will i get pdf will you get pdf yes doubt clearing yes in ob what you will be covering same as that net syllabus yes it's almost same kunmun everything is same as that of ob no net theek hai fine so this was the session for the day i hope uh, i you haven't received any mail if you haven't received any mail note down this email id you can join this group uh, contact us from here and this access kab tak milega till exam yes malhar till exam till your exam the day you enroll from that day till your exam okay so these are the things you can just go through it and do let us know if you are interested fine everything would be completed would be covered up right fine so thank you so much so give your feedback after this session like comment in the if you have any queries you have not received any mail if you haven't received any mail it's because your mail id must have not be registered with us theek hai number of mcqs yes there would be five mock so every mock has got how many questions 120 question now multiply it with five medium of class youtube of what youtube i will share the links would be shared with you theek hai those who enroll for the classes the link for the classes would be shared they would be only with those people it would be shared only for those uh, those who are taking the courses so it would be through youtube youtube session just now we are ta uh, taking but this is the public one that won't be the public one only with the one who have taken the courses okay fine so this this i would be taking labor legislation in hrm Shivraj sir would be taking Indian Constitution, current events, and mental ability. Done. So I hope that was enough. Now, if you have any queries, you can just uh, mail us on the email IDs and the group. Fine. So this is the mail ID where you can contact us. You can join. And yes, thank you so much. Like. hit on the bell icon so that you can get notification every time we add the uh, like subscribe to the channel hit on bell icon so that every time we, i add the new video you would get the notification recorded lecture malhar that's easy you would be given the link you would be given a link as soon as you click on the link the recorded session if it is recorded okay tentative date uh, assist इसके पहले का कुमार प्रधान इसके पहले जस्ट यू कैन गो इन दी प्रोफाइल यूट्यूब जस्ट गो इन टू दिस चैनल देर इज अ क्लास विच वॉज टेकन टू डेज बिफोर इट हैज गॉट एवरी डिटेल ठीक है 
it has got every detail what are the tentative dates when it can happen what are the syllabus how many people have applied and so on what is the syllabus and everything is given there so i would uh, rather say suggest you that go and see that class it is much more detailed one okay session video fine so thank you if you have any other doubts now you can just uh, contact us on the email id uh, and we will be replying